Hi everyone, for this video, we're going to talk about how to come up with new art ideas. I'm Pascal Coley, and you are watching the art show. So, let me just say, uh, coming up with the creative process is challenging, it's hard, it's hard. If you don't know how to approach it, it's completely hard. It's how you approach your painting that's gonna make it seems like it's all brand new. It haven't been done before, but it's hard. But with this step I'm about to give you, you're gonna be able to paint completely new ideas without um without struggling for like three hours or like days. Uh, artist block. Uh, like I don't know what to draw. It's been like three days now. I don't, I have no idea. So, this is how usually it works. This is how usually I approach my creative process. Whenever I think about a new idea, like, I just complete like the Battle of Kings, Battle of Five Kings. And that was amazing. That took a lot of creative process. That, that was all imagination. If you watch the video, you will see the painting actually change over time. It didn't stay the same. So, whenever you start creating something as an artist, or if you don't know what to create, this is what you should do. Uh, write down whatever comes in your head. Usually, I, when I wake up, maybe it was a dream that I had, and I would write whatever I saw in that dream. Walking down a rainbow land, uh, jumping jack in the park, uh, playing hide and go seek, uh, got scared, by a ghost and I had to wake up on um, I write those things down and I can chat it down and see do I want to paint this story do I want to paint this story do I want to paint this story if I don't want to paint this story I want I won't paint it but for this uh for this painting I'm doing that you're actually watching right now let me explain the creative process towards it first when I got done with the battle of five kings I didn't know what to draw I didn't know what the next artwork was gonna be. It was completely tough, it was hard. So what I did was write down some words like water, blue, uh, lady, lost. I have a virtual reality glasses, virtual reality glasses, uh, roller coaster, uh, under sea, uh, something completely imaginary. Out this planet, alien, and the list just go on and on. And when I wrote this thing down, when I look at it, I'm like, I want to see a lady completely lost in this virtual reality world, with different reality around her, but she's not on Earth, she of Earth. When I look at these words, that's how I'm telling you. When you write down stuff and you look at it, and you just recite it to yourself, you're gonna you're gonna be thinking about something else. It's like you tell two different artists, uh, I want you to draw a bird. Uh, I want you to draw a bird on the sidewalk eating Cheetos. They, both of them gonna see a different sidewalk. Both of them gonna see a different bird because both of them thinks differently. So if you chop down your idea before you approach it, you come with completely new painting. You can think completely new instead of what I well, this is what you shouldn't do. Go on uh, DeviantArt or Instagram or whatever art shows that you use and look at so many artists work and try to replicate it and say it's a new one. I've seen artists do this a lot. They will go on different platforms knowing that a lot of people might not be able to track it back and they will try to replicate someone else's artwork. That's completely that's cruel. You would you wouldn't want someone to actually copy your work, and don't and they won't even give credits. So if you want to come up with your own idea as an artist, chop down something, write a bunch of words, and try to paint whatever you see in these words. So another one, second, you can come up with an idea. You can what you can do is um you can just start drawing. That's the hardest thing artists do. I don't know what to draw, so I'm not gonna draw. 
it's, it's completely tough. I got an artist block. I don't know what to think. I'm not feeling the mood. I need to be feeling such, some type of way to draw. Stop thinking like that. The moment you put your hand on a canvas and start drawing, which is the hardest part, it's even hard for me. Uh, I, the moment you just take your pencil, you draw a face. You're going to see, maybe you want the face, she only have one eye. Before you go look, she have one eye and there's a ghost behind her. Or uh, she have one eye and there's a zombie trying to bite her in the neck. But she's already a zombie, so how is he going to get infected? Uh, she's a zombie and a human is out to bite her. Because the human is hungry and she's the only meat. I don't know. Whenever you start drawing, ideas completely evolve. Uh, your idea completely evolve. It, it, it's going to grow over time. It's going to accumulate into something amazing. For example, let's say uh, I have a couch, black couch, uh, red, black, blue, uh, dirty environment. Uh, you know what? Maybe the Joker in this dirty environment. Uh, he's sitting in the couch. He got his legs up completely crossed sideways and Harley Quinn is blocking the TV trying to show him a schedule of the event uh, or date that they gotta go kill Batman uh, so on her schedule what Harley Quinn posts in front of the Joker is hey Joker today uh, January 30 2089 Batman gotta be dead just to keep the penny interesting, people will read whatever on our schedule and they will love it. And the Joker is sitting, sitting in the couch. If you don't think that, that that's not a good idea or you like, how am I going to draw that? That's completely hard. I'm not that good. They have references online. You can look at, you can even take a picture of yourself in a couch, in the position you want the Joker to be in. You can take a picture of Holland Quinn. Or you get someone to post for you and you can take a picture of them. That's mostly what I do. Don't go ahead and copy someone else. Maybe the next video after this artwork, we should paint that. We should paint a Joker. If you actually want me to paint that, just leave a comment. We're going to paint the Joker in the couch with Helen Quinn in front of the TV and showing him a schedule of killing Batman. That's a completely original idea. You won't see no one else having that because you just start randomly saying stuff. No one can randomly say 10 words at the same, say the, say the same 10 words uh, and see the same images of those 10 words. If I tell you blue right now, some people will see dark blue, some people see light blue, some people will see really desaturated blue, some people will see different things if i tell you a girl running down the road everyone got a different road in their head right now everyone thinking something different the creative process is just all about starting get your pen start drawing you don't know what to draw like i said blur out stuff write down stuff and just draw it but like i said if you really want me to continue the creative process and you want to see this actually, like the like the Joker idea I just came up with. Uh, if you want to see that, how am I gonna approach that in my next video? Just leave a comment below, and that comment will only stay relevant for a week. I will only read the week comment. After that, I'm not gonna do this painting no more. We're just gonna learn something new. But like always, guys, be your artist, okay? I'm Pascal Coley, and you. I don't watch an art show. See you on the next one. Be your artist.